the Abyss promo last night, and basically that brought out uh, what it was. Flair and Styles came out, and they were pissed off, and they promoted uh, it was, it was lockdown. Flair, Flair comes out in the wheelchair. AJ comes out on crutches with a sling on his arm, and they're all beat up and like hum, like humbling around, and it was right. it was goofy. Yeah, but Flair was yeah. awesome. It was, it was amazing. They had Sting come out here. You had Flair, Styles that were down there. Cut a promo. Basically promoted lockdown. We've got Team Hogan versus Team Flair. They're going to have, obviously, guys on each team. Who knows? Maybe five on five, something like that. I love how yeah. Team Hogan is Team Hogan, but Hogan ain't going to be on the team. I uh, know. You know, <laughs> isn't it stupid, dude? And I thought yeah. they didn't they didn't. Team Hogan was Captain Abyss. Like, yeah. what? Why is it a Team Abyss? Then? Why is it Team Hogan? Yeah. It was horrible. We had uh, we saw Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam. They uh, finally entered the arena 50 minutes late to uh, to Impact, but nonetheless. Yeah. Then we had uh, Tomko in a squash match. Rob Terry just fucking pounded the shit out of him. And Tomko's looking like he's getting fat too. He's uh, not looking so good, huh? I noticed yeah. that too, man. I noticed that actually last week more than I did last night, but. I look so good. <laughs> that, uh, Jeremy, Jeremy Borash was uh, backstage with Foley and Jeff Jarrett. Uh, and that let us, they did a backstage segment there. And then they announced that uh, Beer Money Inc. was going to be the uh, special referees for that. And then we had that match. And, I'm a uh, big Beer Foley. Money fan, bro. Big Beer yeah, Money fan. Yeah, they're, uh, you know, that's, that's you know, these, these TNA originals, I like it, man. If you're going to... If you're going to bring in veteran guys like Hogan, Flair, you know, your team styles, a TNA original with Flair. You team Abyss, TNA original with Hogan. You take Beer Money, Inc., and you put them in there with Jarrett and Foley. You know what I mean? I like the way that they're using guys that are already over to promote these younger guys like Beer Money, Inc. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm glad Beer Money made the cut as far as people they like and use, you know, properly. We had uh, Mick Foley was fired in this one. Bischoff was on cam- commentary, and he was uh, he was laughing. He was uh, Bischoff is fucking gold. Man. He's real goddamn good, I mean, man. Anytime he's he talking, he's good. Right, right. We had uh, what Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam came out. They uh, pissed off Eric Bischoff, and uh, they ran off beer money. RVD got a microphone and says. Uh, They'll take on beer money. Are you guys supposed to be night. beer money or money beer? Money that doesn't beer. even make any sense. Yeah. What the hell's yeah. money beer? Come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, yeah, and RVD was in that uh, Destination X as well. I wrote a blog on that. On he the was there show, backstage. Was he there? Backstage? Yeah, he was there, but he wasn't used. He, I think he had his schedule wrong or something. <laughs> yeah, schedule or something. <laughs> wrong. He must have uh, been a little too 420 out, man. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, man. We had uh, basically, so we've got that as our main event. We've got uh, Hardy and RVD against Beer Money, which is a great main event. I mean, Beer they Money. gave us a good bit of time, too. Yeah, I know. that was. Uh, they had the overrun, too, so that was good. We had uh, Foley. He was uh, walking out of the arena, had security behind him, shook hands with all the faces. Uh, Bubble Love Sponge <laughs> and got, ah, uh, dude. Got fucking blasted, and I loved every minute of it, dude. I he busted his nose, it. dude. Did you hear that? Bubba tw- tweeted today that he got his nose busted from that. Yeah, punch. but listen, okay. And I fully apologized afterwards. Listen, I saw the. Um, I saw, my bad. I'm just. I updated, guys. It's a big update for the uh, TNA Impact spoilers over on TNAWrestlingNews.com. Just posted a big update. But I saw the uh, the punch backstage, and you know me, dude. I used to love Bubba. I used to, and I, I you know, I like what he does on his radio show. Yeah, I do I was, too. I don't like I don't like him in TNA, but on the radio, I like him. Dude, he just thinks he's okay. As as far as the radio personality. Dude, you're over, no doubt. You know, you're you're a big radio star. You, Howard Stern, you're probably two of the top guys in America as far as radio shows are concerned. As far as pro wrestling, as in, in Bubba's own words, you're a fucking jobber, dude. You're a green nosed jobber or whatever. Kid, you yeah. Know what I, yeah, kid. You know what I mean, dude? He just he's he's a drama queen as far as it comes to TNA. Now, here's my hey. opinion, bro. TNA yeah. and it's funny, it's it's kind of ironic. As a radio guy, I don't like him. Like I like Howard Stern. I can listen to Howard talk about anything. Bubba, it, I only like Bubba's radio show when he's got wrestlers on it or MMA fighters. Yeah. Now here's the ironic part: I like his radio show only when he's got wrestlers on it. But I hate Bubba in wrestling. I don't like it at all. Like watching him on TNA, he's he's, he's awful. Like at first, I was trying to like him and everything, but the more I see him, he's just he's useless. Get him the hell out of there. Sly Fox in the chat says uh, Bubba's a mark for himself. Couldn't agree more, man. Yeah, he I definitely mean, he's is. A, he's just he thinks he's he's bigger than he is in the in the pro wrestling industry, in the radio business, no doubt, dude. 
you're you're a, you're a big guy. You know what I mean? You, you've got a, a loyal fan base. You've got the Bubba Army. Stick to that, dude. You know what I mean? TNA. And, and He's great you know with wrestlers on his radio show, too. So it's yeah. not like, like it would be better if they just had him interview guys on his radio show and then air clips of that on Impact or something. If they have to put him on in some, show, in some right. capacity, do it that way. Yeah. He's actually good on the radio, and if he gets a wrestler in there and they have like a shoot style interview that's planned for the Impact show, that that's better. But having him come in and act like on camera is all right. Yeah, he just well, he got what he had coming last night with uh, got popped pretty hard. Twice basically. now he's got knocked out. Yeah, fully fully knocked him good. And the problem I had, man, awesome con knocked up, him out. <laughs> you 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 talked about this. He put up a photo um, either late last night or this morning on Twitter. All right, and I looked at the photo, man. It's a fucking dude. There was more makeup on that guy's face than unless unless one punch in both of your eyes, okay, one punch to your nose, and then you've got bruises all the way down to your chin. You've got two black eyes. I mean, you guys saw it. I, I didn't see the on, photo. I, went, I just heard that he had a tweet. I didn't know that. <laughs> I have it over on T and dot com. That's I, funny. Yeah, I'm sure most of you guys saw it, but it was. I mean. You can't tell me that there wasn't makeup all over his face. So basically, he was just trying to work the uh, work the internet again. Classic bubble, and I just I don't know, whatever. Um, let us into our main event. We had Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam against Beer Money. By the way, give you a fair warning, man. We got uh, got to take a break here in just a couple minutes once we get through the uh, yeah. main event. But uh, Jeff Hardy and Rob Van Dam against uh, Beer Money Inc. This is a uh, a great tag team main event for TNA Impact. Good way to. Uh, Good way to end the show, man. Good. Uh, yeah, know, there wasn't like a bunch of bullshit either. It was just a really good match. It was. We had, uh, well, the end of the match was, the ending sequence was awesome where uh, Hardy Hardy brought out a ladder and uh, hit, I think it was James Storm with it, and then RVD hit the, uh, what was it, the, the Rolling Thunder, I think they yeah. called it. And then and Hardy then, uh, hit the Swanton. Swanton, yeah. RVD hit the, the Frog Splash. Yeah, yeah. And then we had uh, RVD covered Robert Roode, I believe it was. So that was that. And then we had uh, Jeff Hardy and RVD celebrated. Eric Young came out. You guys know Kevin Nash, uh, Destination X. He turned on Eric Young. They had been a tag team in recent weeks. Kevin Nash turned on him. The Wolf Pack. Pack. Yeah, yeah they, they got, got the, the music. They got the yeah. music, the name, and everything. It's, uh, I guess yeah. WWE doesn't own it. So yeah, no doubt. We didn't see them last night on uh, on Monday. No, but they they set it up for next week yeah. at least. You know, they showed a video yeah. package right before the main event, and then after the main event, you had the Eric Young stuff, and then they announced you know, that next week on Impact will be Eric Young. RVD and Jeff Hardy versus the three members of the Wolfpack. So that's you know that that's another guy, man, Eric Young. That you know you got to give Hogan and Bischoff props, man, because they said that they were going to come in, and no, no doubt they brought in a lot of guys. You know, a lot of old name guys, Nasty Boys, and and a lot of Hogan's clan as well. But there are TNA originals right now that are getting pushed, and you can you know you can't hate on Hogan for Hogan or Bischoff for, for continuing to push those guys, guys like Eric Young, AJ Styles, you know, hopefully Samoa Joe, you know what I mean, when he comes back. It's just, you know, they're they're using TNA, it's a good mix. They're using yeah. TNA originals and they're using veteran stars. So I like that mix. So that was TNA Impact and Monday Night Raw from last night. When we come back from the break, guys, we're going to talk TNA Destination X from Sunday night, and then we're going to get into a big debate, TNA versus WWE. We're going to take your live phone calls. We've got the live chat going on right now, wzronline.com slash chat. Get in there. We'll be back in about two minutes from now. You are listening to WZR Radio with Matt Boone and Ryan Clark.